Hi there guys, I'm Nikhil from Greedy Tech and in this video I will be doing the gaming review of the Samsung Galaxy Tab A 10.1 inch. Now before we get started, these are the anti 2 and Geekbench scores. Now coming to my current setup, there are two huge lights on both sides. Currently there is 43% of battery left on the tablet. There is an AC running in the background at 26 degrees and the current room temperature is also 26 degrees. Now let's check the temperature of the tablet. On the front it's fluctuating from 30 to 31. At the bottom it's about 34 to 35 degrees. On the back it is 31 degrees and at the bottom it is 32 degrees. Now I'll start the timer and start the gaming review with Asphalt 9. So guys, as you can see, visuals are looking amazing. Like I've never imagined visuals would be this good on this tablet. Even the display itself looks pretty great and gives you an immersive feeling. Due to its bigger size, details like sparks and other particle effect is also very nice. There is a slight bit of lag in graphic intensive situations, but it's manageable. Now the speakers on this tablet are super loud, but one of the speaker girls will definitely get covered while playing. So there's a slightly muffled sound. I wish Samsung would have put the speakers on opposite sides or put 4 speakers on this tablet as well. Then we would have got a stereo sound effect. So that's one thing we missing. So guys, it's been 9 minutes since I've been playing this game. Now let's check the temperature of the tablet. On the front, it's fluctuating from 34 to 38 degrees. I even saw 39. At the bottom, it's fluctuating from 35 to 38 degrees. On the back, it's about 34 to 35 degrees. And at the bottom, it is 33 degrees. Next, I'll be playing PUBG Lite. Now in this game, we can't change the graphic settings and graphic settings are set to the lowest for the best gaming experience. So guys, as you can see, there is no lag whatsoever. There might be a slight bit of lag, but that's not at all visible. As I said, we can't choose the graphic settings and that's why this is set to the lowest settings. Visuals don't look amazing, but they are great enough and actually look nice. Controls are slightly far away and if it's your first time playing PUBG on a bigger screen, then you might need some time to get used to it. By the way, you can also move these controls around according to your preference from settings. So controls are a bit hard for you to reach, then you can rearrange them. So guys, I've been playing this game for about 11 minutes. Let's check the temperature. On the front, it's fluctuating from 34 to 36. I even saw 37 just for a split second. At the bottom, it's fluctuating from 35 to 38 degrees. On the back, it is 34 degrees. And at the bottom, it is 33 degrees. Next, I'll be playing PUBG Mobile. First, I'll play the game in HD graphic settings at high frame rate. And after that, I'll switch to smooth graphic settings with high frame rate. So guys, as you can see, visuals look great, there is a slight bit of lag, but that's manageable. Gameplay is smooth and the controls are also pretty good. It will take you some time to get used to the bigger screen, but once you get used to it, you wouldn't want to play it on your phone. So at least that's how it is with me. So guys, now I'm going to switch the graphic settings to smooth with high frame rate. And as you can see, there isn't much difference visually. I can notice slight lag even now. But once again, that's manageable and overall gameplay is pretty smooth. So 
So guys, I've been playing this game for about 15 minutes. Now let's check the temperature. On the front, it's fluctuating from 35 to 37 degrees. At the bottom, it is 36 to 38. On the back, it is 35 degrees. And at the bottom, it is 33 to 34 degrees. So guys, that's the end of the gaming review. It's been 36 minutes and the battery percentage came down to 33%. So for approximately 35 minutes of gameplay, this tablet consumed 10% of battery, which is pretty decent for the bigger screen. So guys, now I'm going to do the heat test where I'll be taking pictures using both the front and rear cameras continuously for 3 minutes and then check the temperature. By the way guys, there is still an AC in the room at 26 degrees and the current room temperature is also 26 degrees. Now I'll start taking pictures. So guys, it's been 3 minutes. Let's check the temperature of the tablet. Now the tablet didn't heat up at all. There's a slight warmth near the top part and that's it. Now on the front, temperature is varying from 34 to 38 degrees. At the bottom, it's fluctuating from 35 to 37. On the back, surprisingly, it's 35 to 38 degrees. I saw 38 just for a split second near the camera. And at the bottom, it's about 33 to 34 degrees. Now in those 3 minutes, I've taken about 333 images, which is impressive as it's more than what most phones take. So guys, right after the heat test, I've tried using the tablet for a minute and there's a slight bit of lag, but that's manageable. Overall, there is no major throttling going on. So guys, that was the gaming review, battery drain test and the heat test of the Samsung Galaxy Tab A. If you are planning to buy this tablet, use the link in the description. It always helps the channel. And if you have any questions about the tablet or if you want us to make any specific video, tweet out to us with the hashtag AskGreedyTech on Twitter and we will try to make it as soon as possible. I'm Nikhil from Greedy Tech signing off. Have a nice day.